everyone, I'm Grattles, and I've been asked to do some video with commentary, so I'm just going to show you how I start a new game. I did a whole series uh, on my Brindleton map, and I decided that I'd give it a try, so I'm going to just start with this map. I um, looked it over, and it's a nice map, so I'm just going to go into this one. I keep everything off. Um, it's easier to build without the weather and a daytime nighttime cycle and um, not using any cheats. So I'm just gonna pause the map and kinda give you an overview. It's a really nice map. I got a lot of farmland down here. There's a lot of forestry up here. And I just like the way it looks all the way around. And I've never built on this map before, so I figured I'd give it a go. So, over here, I'm going to want to uh, take advantage of this farming. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, probably build just a small pocket of industry over here that pollutes at the beginning and then once I've unlocked farming I will move my industry down here. So I'm just gonna lay out my first road since no other roads are available. And I think I'm just gonna use a four lane road. And I'll start from here. And I'll just go straight down to about here. I think later on I'll take this road and I'll curve it into the farming, but because money's tight, I'm going to not do that just yet. I'm just going to take my one way, connect it, and just delete that. Oh, did not mean to do that. There we go. So now I'm just going to go into uh, gravel roads. They're only $20 instead of $40. I'm just going to come in and make a small pocket over here for my power plant and my water treatment. And when I open up garbage, I'll put my landfill over here. So I'm just going to take this down quite a bit. Actually, I'm going to move up a little bit to about here. And then I'm just going to take this to about here. And this is where I'm just going to put in temporary industry to start. So I think I'm going to have my residential over here in this big area. Um... But until I open up terraforming, I'm going to try not to go too close to here. So I'm just going to come off of here by 300. And then I'm going to move up about here. And then come down to about here. Then I'm just going to make a large uh, rectangle. And I'm going to stick with grids. But I'm going to maybe do a little bit of a different pattern in them. Not just keep them as straight grids. So it adds a little bit more interest. Maybe I'll come in to here. Just come down. 
So you can do a lot of different things with grids. So it's not just a straight, you know, rectangle roads. Next I'm going to add a little bit of uh, commercial. I'm just going to come down by 300, come across. I'm just going to add commercial down here, which is not practical. But once I terraform this, I'll have more commercial maybe coming down off the main road. But because it's so small right now, I'm just going to go ahead and upgrade this to two lanes. And I'm going to put in, I think, about three blocks of commercial. So I just went down to 720. These blocks are wider, so I need to come down a little further. So now I have three blocks of commercial in there. So now I'm just going to go into my utilities. I'm going to grab my coal power plant. And let me put that right here on the end. And then I got to go to water. And I have Sunset Harbor, so I'm going to put in my water treatment, that's for sewage. And then I'm going to go ahead and put in uh, my water pump for fresh water. I'm just going to, I want to keep it off of there a little bit, so I think I'll just pop it right in there. So now that I have everything in, I'm going to have to connect it. So I'm just going to go back to my pipe. Now I do have a nice straight road that comes from here all the way down into my residential. So I'm just going to keep that like that. So I'm going to go into 460. Just take that down. And that covers all of my residential here. So I'm completely covered. And then I'm just going to come down here. I'm going to do... It's so hard to see that blue that's 460 just gonna notch it out I'm gonna do it again and one more time okay so now all my industrial is set up I just have to connect Now all my water pipes are hooked up, I just need to run power. So I have power very close to my industrial, so that will catch. And I'm just going to run this from here to my residential. And I'm just going to run this along the road until I get to about here. And I think what I'm doing, just go like that. So this way I know my commercial will catch. And there we go. So now I have electric for my industrial, residential, commercial. I have it to my water. So now I'm pretty much ready to go into my economy, go into my budget, turn everything down. I even turn the roads down. I try to save as much money as possible in the beginning and I really don't need them speeding in there's not a lot of traffic so 
I'm gonna go ahead and fill in some green, like so. And then I'm going to put the game on three speed and start it. Just slightly getting a little blue. I'm just gonna fill this in with a four by four and another one on the other side. And once the green fills in a little bit more, my blue will pop up. So now I usually don't fill this edge because I like to um, put in bike paths later. So I kind of leave um, just a small space on the edge here. And this way also the buildings face inwards onto this road and not onto this road, which I prefer. So I'm just going to throw in a little bit more blue before I go up to industry. So industry, this is only temporary um, because I'm going to delete it once I open this up for farming. So I may skip over this rectangle right here and maybe this one and add later schools and parks. So if I was going to fill in, I'd probably come down here and fill in there. So right now, I know my electric is catching, so it should catch down here also. I also have this, so it should be fine. So I'm going to go ahead and put in some more industry. And I'm just going to put in a large amount to just keep this going. I still have a lot of green that needs to be filled out over on this area. And so I'm just going to leave that alone. So I think I'll fill in another rectangle with green and I'll come down and just add a little more blue. There we go. So we hit our first milestone and we get taxes and loans, garbage, health care, and education. Um, just gonna put the game on one speed. I'm gonna go ahead in and I'm gonna go to taxes and I'm gonna raise them to 12. I'm also actually gonna go into my budget and I'm gonna go ahead and turn up my electric to about 65 and I'm going to turn up my roads to about 75 
Then I'm going to go ahead and turn this up to 3 speed again. I'm going to go into garbage. And I'm going to put in my landfill. So now that I've done that, I'm going to hold off on my education and my health care for a little while. It's not necessary right at the beginning. And it helps me to build up a little bit more money. And I'm just going to stick in a little more green. And I think I'm going to come down. I got blue. So I'm good. And I'm just going to let it run. Now I'm going to have to go into, oh, I thought I was going to have to go into water and fix it. I think I might. I think my water might be getting low. No. My electric could be getting a little low again. Yeah, it is. Okay. So sometimes if the water pump down here does not get enough electric, it will bring up the water. So I'm just going to go into my economy again and go into my electric and turn that up a little bit more. My next milestone is at 900. So I may need to put in a little bit more uh, industry just to keep it going, which is fine. Like I said, it's going to be deleted later anyway. And I do need more residents. So now what I might do is I may fill out just around the edge here a little bit. But I'm going to stay away from the streets here. Because I might want to build out once I terraform. So I'm going to do that. And then, I'm also going to look at my electricity. So now, it's getting pulled all the way down. So now, I really don't need um, any of this. Well, actually I do. I need to stay from here to my water pipe. But before that, I can already... Oops. So I hit my next milestone, and I did open up a new area. I now have district for farming and forestry, and I have police and fire. So now, before I do anything, I'm going to just pause it, and I'm going to definitely need fire and police, and before I do anything, I gotta think about money. Now, I do have two loans that I have not taken. I have 20 and 60. So that's a good amount that I feel comfortable enough that I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to connect this road down and then come into here. So it's almost going to be a nice little round area. So I'm just going to go from here. I'm going to come out... I'm going to curve it. I'm just going to go to here. And then I'm going to go straight. To just here. 
Then I'm gonna take, I think, from the middle. Come out straight, also. I'm gonna curve it. Whoops. Then I'm gonna go straight. So, <clears throat> eventually I'm gonna wanna come off of here, maybe by 300, and then come down and connect this. And then I'll do some residential in here too. But for now, I'm gonna leave that alone. I'm gonna start my clock back up. And I'm going to my economy my budget and raise up my electric again so I do need some blue I'm gonna go ahead and put in actually a whole row so now while that's doing that I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna go to my gravel roads again and I'm gonna see where I wanna kind of put in some farming. So I think I'm going to start a road off of here. I'm just going to come to here. I'm just going to come down to about here. Go across to about here. I want this to be straight. do that and then come in like that so now I know I want to fill in like this whole pocket here and that gives me a nice little area to build off of so I'm just gonna go into my districts and I'm just going to fill in all the farm area because it's very clear to see where the farm area is with the bright yellow And I'm actually going to see what I like to do with three or four names. Because I like to see if any names come up that I kind of like. So we might make this... Right now we haven't named our town. So... I might make this Madison Farms. So if I do that... Just gonna go ahead and refill in everything. And I'm gonna rename this. into my districts and make sure I actually label it as a farm. Alright, so now I have my farm set up for that. Um, I was deleting the electric here, so let me go back and delete that. So now I could add some green around the edges, which I'll do. So I'm going to go back into my zoning, and I'm just going to I'm gonna stay off the streets, even, you know what, this side doesn't matter, I'm not going to build over that way. So I am going to keep off of the commercial area, and I'm going to just go in like that. And then over here same difference uh, I might want to put a path there I'm just gonna go like that
over here. We'll do this. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna stay off by the two again. And I do have a need to pump up my water. So I'm just gonna go into my economy and to my budget. And I'm just gonna turn this up to 75. I'm going to turn up my electric to 100 and my streets up to 100. Now I also want to do one other thing. So, <clears throat> now that we opened up uh, city policies, I am going to distribute um, smoke detectors. So this way... Um, it doesn't take a lot of money later. If you do it later and you start distributing smoke detectors, it will hit you hard. So I like to do it early. So now I'm going to put in some fire. And I'm going to put a firehouse right here. And the reason being is my power plant is right here. And if that catches fire, it won't be good. So, and then I'm going to put I think a police department opposite that. So now I got that. Um, I know I'm going to need water pipes from my farm. So that's going to have to hold off a second. I do have a high demand for commercial. So I'm going to do that. And... A little more green over here. a little okay so now I've opened up sorry I've opened up parks so now I have all this it doesn't open up a new area but it does open up paths and parks and a whole bunch of things like that so I also have um like leisure and all that so I'm just gonna leave that alone I'm going to continue to go ahead and fill in just a little bit more. My money is doing well. And now that I opened up parks, I can terraform this. But that takes a lot of money, so I'm just going to be careful. Right now, I have more um, that I need to do with uh, moving over my industry. So that I'm going to do first. I'm going to go down by 460 again. And 460 again. And then 460 again. Now this will take me down into my farm. It's a little bit over. Um, I will just put a little bit in there like that. I'm just going to take this down completely straight. And then I'm going to take this one down. Just to get water coverage in this area. So now that I got water covered in the area, the only other thing I'm going to need to do is power it. So I'm going to just run uh, electric from here to here. But I know I'm going to need a new power, power plant soon because my electric is sitting on the edge. Now I could turn up my economy to 125 or 150. 
but that's just kind of buying me time and since I have the money to put it in I think I'll just put it in so I'm just gonna go here grab another power and pop it in so now my electric is way up there and I can actually turn my budget down I'm gonna go about 80 and just check it so that's that's exactly when I want to be I'm just gonna leave that alone so now I'm gonna go ahead and before I, I move my industry again I have a high demand for residential so I'm just gonna go ahead and come over here by about 300 and I'm gonna come down to here now I want to stay away from there so I'm gonna come in I think and I think I'll do another small residential area over here and over here what I may do is let me just put in more commercial or something over there. I'm not quite sure yet. So I might come in from here by 300. And I might add a little bit to the edge of here. So if I add some more commercial, I would probably come down here and add another line maybe to here and this whole thing will be commercial. And then I'll start residential here. So I'm just going to go here and I think I'm just going to run straight grids. right through here like so now I also don't have water over here so I'm going to have to go ahead and run those water pipes all the way down So now I don't have electric either, but what I might do is I'm going to go ahead and go over to here. I'm going to upgrade this to come on in. I'm actually thinking, hold on. Come in here by 720 and come across. Just like so. I'm going to just upgrade this. Like that. So, this is all going to be commercial. So, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead. And I'm just going to run in um, just here. And then off of there, I'm going to run a small portion. Um, yeah, to about there. And then I'm going to come down and put in a four. Actually, I'm not. I'm gonna take off that and that. Actually, I might take off that. And I'm just gonna run in here. 
And I'm gonna come to here and run into about there. So, <coughs> with that coming in, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to fill in right here with some green. And then I'm gonna actually come off of this by one. And once I do all that, I'm checking to see, make sure the electric spreads. Once that spreads, I will just fill. So now I can fill in here, here, and I'll do the first two. So now I definitely need more blue. I'm going to go ahead and add blue. And I'm just going to fill this to about here. Just like that. And I'm going to delete the block actually. And a portion of this. Because what I would like to do is I'm going to go over to here and I'm going to come in like I did on the other one to 720. And this way I can go ahead and get a full block of full commercial so I'm gonna do that and now that my blue is filling in quite nicely I'm just gonna go ahead and fill the rest in over here and then I'm gonna try to focus on my industrial so I know I definitely need to get my industrial up and going so I'm just going to come into here, and I'm just going to grid out this bottom right here. And then I think I will do the same over here. So now that I've done that, I'm going to actually do away with this rope. And I might just put in that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to fill in my yellow from there to there and I'm going to dezone all my yellow over here. I'm just going to completely dezone it and this should start filling out. Now I am going to need electric over here, and I'm just going to run this for the time being, from here, across the street, and we'll just come down to here, see if we can do it straight. Now that gives us the electric. I'm just gonna delete these. Oh, they're gone. I'm gonna delete this street here. Again, don't need it. Don't need to pay maintenance on it. I'm get rid of it. Just gonna fill in one more. And I believe I will connect this road to the main road here. So now that uh, my um, population is going up, I'm going to go ahead and go into intersections. And I'm just going to shut off all these lights. Um, later, they cause a lot of traffic, so I want to do it now while I'm remembering. And I'm also going to go ahead and put in um, an elementary school. And I 
think I will also throw in a small little park here. Maybe I'll do a little bit bigger. Can I fit it? If I come down here, I could fit it. So now if I go into my schools, I have 256 eligible and a capacity for 300. Now as far as high school goes, I have none right now. I'm going to go into medical. I have six, six, six sick citizens. So I'm just going to put in a medical center. So now this area is pretty well established and will be filling in nicely. I'm going to go ahead into my economy, turn up my water, just go to 85. Now later on, I probably will go ahead and use my uh, Industries DLC. Now there are times where when I build a um, city, I don't use those until the very end because when you fill in this yellow for the base game, it fills the demand. But when you use industry, it doesn't. For some reason, it just doesn't fill that industrial demand. And when you do that, you end up putting in industrial and then industrial. So you kind of have like a double industrial. So you always kind of need these squares with the base game industry. And then you'll also be, also be building industry from your DLC. So you just have a very large amount of it. So you don't need it in the beginning. So I sometimes will add it in. And by... Um end up having to compensate by putting in squares of base game so it fills the need now I do have a fire here and one thing I might want to do is there's a lot of trees and I do want to terraform this land later on so I think what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and remove the trees for now and add my own trees later on this will also help me to see what I'm terraforming so now that I've gotten rid of all the trees I can actually take a look at this structure and we can delete that and then the rest of this I will terraform but right now I only have 20,000 so I am going to hold off and I do have a high demand for a little more residential so what I may do is I might come off a little bit and do some into the shoreline right here so I'm just going to go ahead and take my gravel roads. Now, you're probably thinking, well, I haven't upgraded any of my gravel roads. That I'll do later when I'm making a lot more money. So now we hit Boomtown. This is the fourth milestone. You did open up areas. You now have transport. So you have buses and taxis and trams you have a postal service now and we do have recycling so we could put that into our city policies and i think i'm going to leave this off at this um and i'll pick this up on the next episode thank you